Hey everyone, Ragamuni here, welcoming you back to more Ore no Rayuri, I'm the Chef. In the last episode, we did three more restaurants ending with a food stand somehow run by aliens. And in this episode, we're going to continue on our grand quest to become the greatest chef and save the world from eating leftovers through a tube. Meanwhile, back at Frog HQ, the ultimate in chef warfare is being deployed. Meet Robo Me, or Robo Chef. He thinks this is going to be his grand creation. But of course, we'll prove him wrong. Anyways, our manager this time is a fat person. But by God, I'm going to tell you this right now. This restaurant has the greatest theme in, all, in this entire game, and even for like most restaurants. I want to walk into a restaurant and hear this as, my th as the theme. Like the theme playing in the background. This is just beautiful. Take a listen. See what I mean? That's just pure bliss right there. That's beautiful. Anyways, this this place features like room service foods and stuff. And it can be very difficult. As well as as well as making pancakes. There we go. Ah, oh, but this is a pretty difficult restaurant to master. Ah, <laughs> oh, stupid roaches. Last time I did this, it took me like five minutes to get it together, but thankfully only three. Anyways, it is time for Robo Chef. Let's go. Cook off. Doing a lot better this time than I did before. Oh, I failed that one. Yes! Got him! Thank God I didn't have to worry about the critic that time. That took way better than before. Awesome. That was a lot better. That only took me five minutes. See, if you know what you're doing in a restaurant, you'll know exactly what to do. Anyways, with that out of the way, Robo Chef is defeated and we can finally move on. We 
me go ahead and select slot three so that I can send the off chance. Anyways, now that we've beaten all of his generals, the frog chef is so fed up with our failures, it's time to take matters into our own hands. We have to cook for the frog king! And I'll be honest, this is my worst restaurant. I cannot... I, I spent a good hour doing this restaurant before my first time playing through this. This is a ridiculous restaurant. And the reason I don't like this restaurant so damn much is... Not the music. For one thing, you're making udon. But there's that... This is like udon you're making. But you also have to peel an apple at times, and that's what I hate the most. The udon can make some great combination attacks, though. Get out of here, you town drunk. <sighs> I'm losing my focus already. Come on again! Ah! This! I cannot peel an apple to save my life in this game. Ah. I might lose this. Oh, and the critic wants an apple. I knew it. Ah. I'm gonna lose this one. I'm gonna lose this one. I am saving myself. Oh my god, here it comes. I'm gonna save myself, guys. I'm gonna save myself. Stop making me do dishes! These dishes don't do much. Thank you for choosing Udon. Good lord, I'm hating this more and more. Okay. I knew I would get my comeuppance here. Come on. 
また来てねかき氷作ってスパゲッティ作って OK we're doing good Oh, come on! The critic hated it! What did I do wrong? I had it! Get back here! I had it, too. I, ha I friggin' had it. Uh. See what I mean? I cannot peel an apple. Don't choose an apple. Don't choose an apple. Choose something that combos well, please. Okay. I'm telling you. Come on. Got more time, thank goodness. There we go, finally! And I'm stating here, because I'm not doing that again. Here we go, guys. This is the most difficult fight right here. Them apples will kill you. Yes, and he talks like a baby, just like any other. Final fight. Got him first. Got him. Take this. No, he comboed me. Take this, frog! And the killing blow is dealt! Oh my god, I did it! And not an apple showed up! Yes! Oh, I'm so happy! So happy that I did in one take. I know I save stated, but still! Oh. You're beaten, frog! But why? Why is my way wrong? Leftovers through tube is awesome! But I want my way! I'll get you back for this someday! Just you wait! Sure. Whatever floats your boat, pal. Hello, Frog King. 
Anyways, we've done it. This game is beaten. The Frog King's dead. There's nothing else to do! So, let's go ahead and celebrate. Wait, what the hell is this? Is that the seventh circle of hell? Yes, people, we're still not done for some reason. Somebody on a crystal ball or something has been looking at us. So let's see where the hell we go now. Ah, the mystic tents. I thought we were getting dragged down to the seventh circle of hell. Certainly looks like it, so we'll just, let's just call this the seventh circle of hell. Especially since there's, like, pentagrams and crap. And there's a mysterious mystic there. But just what in the hell is going on here? Why am I in the seventh circle of hell? Tell me! We're not gonna find out, are we? Guess not, so I guess it's time to cook! Anyways, this is the final restaurant. Nothing here that you haven't already done. But I will warn you right now, for those of you with weak stomachs, you may want to look away from this part, because this uh, restaurant, because we are doing nothing. We're cooking live human stuff here. Don't believe me? That's a hot pepper. This is fungus. This is brains. This is something, I think, like eyeball. <laughs> okay, stop slowing down, please. Ah, I'm getting slow down. No. And I'm on silent mode, too, is a thing. Okay, combos of two. You can do this. There we go, I saved it. Stop slowing me down, please. Oh, this is gonna lag so bad. And then you have to stir more. It's like a potion pot. Thank God I got him. Yes, okay. Got past that portion. So, if we're not trying to fight the Frog King anymore, or anybody, then who are we fighting? Wait, that voice sounded familiar. Oh my god, it's the cashier! Our cashier? Well, here we go. Take that! Oh, 
Got all these potatoes. Shit, shit, shit! I will not be outdone. Come on. Yes! We did it, people! The ultimate chef beaten. That's right, lady. You're done. So what happens now? Let's get out of here! We're getting out of the seventh circle! Indeed, you have bested me in combat, young chef. I now promote you the title of Greatest Chef of the Koo Kingdom. Yeah, we're gonna save our game. Oh, we did it. おばちゃんもこう見えて忙しいんだから。いつまでもあんたとのおしゃべりに付き合ってらんないのよ。あんたもね。ナイスモーペン。人も邪魔ばっかりしてないで仕事しなさい、仕事。若いうちの頃は
But in any case, this is a very fun game. It is, it is uh, pretty addicting. If you like playing, if you like, uh, sh if you like cooking things for long periods of time and everything like that, really good workout on the uh, controller though. I'll tell you right now, that ninja game, the uh, ni the mini game where you have to chase down the ninja in order to, because uh, it's like a robbery of sorts. Um, that thing can break your analog sticks very fast. I mean, think Mario Party can break N64 joysticks. <laughs> that that game alone could break analog sticks. Maybe that's why it didn't get ported over. For your fear of analog sticks in the U.S. breaking. Oh, I'd have, bro I'd have broken a thousand if I meant getting the high score on that thing. But, uh, yeah. All in all, this is a fantastic game. Uh, very hard to find, though. So, I can't say you should pick it up. Definitely, uh, try to emulate this if you can, if you really want to give this game a shot. But, uh, that's about it, in all honesty. There's really nothing else to show off except the uh, extra play modes, and I'm going to be doing that in the next part. So, how to put this, because I want to end my part, but the credits aren't over yet. Uh, these credits just scroll over. These credits scroll way too damn slow for my taste, but, eh, rocket soundtrack. And I will say this now, um, even though I, w I know I could have talked a little more during the whole cooking thing, but I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm not that, I'm not the greatest multitasker. Whenever I was looking through, when I was like, when I was doing some of the cooking, and it was just, oh god, what should I, I need a combo here, but I want to talk or something, it's like, my energy keeps getting focused on one thing versus a second, so. And this also was a great game to learn how to multitask, because it's like, what the hell, is that a doctor? Okay, finally, something interesting to talk about. Oh, I see. Ghostly sightings. Huh, interesting. Oh, hi. Why did you go... Well, I guess we'll never know. Maybe that's a sign to say, hey, beat the gourmet mode. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. We're almost about done here, so in the next part, I'm going to be showing off the gourmet... Not the gourmet mode. Oh, okay, maybe I'll I'll poke into it just to show you what it is, and I'll sh and tell you why the hell I'm not gonna do it. In fact, let's do that now. This is gourmet mode. Oh, I'm sorry, no, this is free play. Oh, badass, badass! They have a free play mode. Oh, that's something I love. That's something I'd do. I'll show that off in a little bit. Okay, let's see. It's okay, it's okay. I'll just do this real quick. Because I think it oh, I think it defaults to gourmet mode, I hope. I I really, really hope that it defaults to gourmet mode. Let's see, if it doesn't default, then I'm just gonna get out of here. Let's see. Let's see. Cook here for a little bit. Okay. This isn't what I'm looking for. I'll look for it off screen and then show it off later. Anyways, this is Ragnar Moon signing out. You guys have a great night. Thank you for watching and take care.